Hello everyone. Again, I'm Chuck Doherty. Welcome to another episode of Doherty's Wild Kingdom as we go in search for the wild goats of Rigby, Idaho. Once again, we find ourselves in Idaho on the Great Plains of Rigby. So we're back in Rigby, Idaho in search of the wild goats. We've got a perfect day for it. I feel like we're going to be lucky. This is the kind of terrain we're going to be in all day long. It's dry, it's rocky, it's where the wild goats live. The terrain is rugged, the footing treacherous. Very few people make it into this part of the world. Very few people ever get to experience sighting one of these endangered wild goats. It's tricky, but it's worth it. We're making our way up the side of this mountain. <laughs> You've just got to make sure You've got a good, firm grip. It's not for the faint of hearted. These goats pick extremely difficult terrain to call their home. It's also how they survive. And suddenly, there in the rocks, we find it. Goat poop. Just what we've been looking for. They're here. We've made it to this high alpine meadow just before sunset. This is the perfect time to view them. We've seen their signs. We know they're here, now we just have to be patient. And as luck would have it, our patience paid off brilliantly. We found ourselves a young billy goat and his mate. These goats mate for life, and this young female can eat a hundred times her weight of food in a single day. They never leave the safety of the rocks and shale and are always on the lookout for whatever might be lurking. And for good reason, this wild dog is on the prowl, looking for an innocent victim. But this billy goat isn't so innocent and has no intentions of becoming the next victim. He can defend himself, and this wild dog goes looking for easier prey elsewhere. Partly due to these razor-sharp tusks growing out from the billy goat's head, they'll cut him. And so, reluctantly, he moves on. Until he finds the young female and realizes that she too has a bit of fight in him. But he tries to get in a bite. This is no game. This is a life and death situation. Cornered on the high ground, she gives one last stand to defend herself. and defend herself, she does. She retreats to the high ground where she knows she'll be safe. This is one wild dog that will be hungry tonight. These ghosts are so well adapted to their environment. It's what makes them such a fascinating study for scientists out in the wild. We've got one tagged. I'll take a look at it. You can tell a lot. By an animal by its hoof here. It's struggling a little bit. If you don't hold them correctly, they'll kick you. Duh. And he's gotten away. This is a big male. It's moments like these that make it all worth it. Not easy. It's the only way to do proper research. And it is this research that allows us to get a glimpse into these endangered animals that we know so little about. Time has come here. A time with the wild goats. Awesome creatures, perfectly designed to live in this terribly rough habitat. If I can catch my breath, they only take it away again. They're magnificent. And so the time has come to leave the valley where the wild goats graze. We know so little about these creatures, shrouded in mystery, but we only hope through our efforts that we will learn more in the years to come. <laughs>